द एक्सपीडिशन ऑफ अम्फ्री क्लिंकर बाय टोबिया स्मॉलेट कैरेक्टर्स समरी एनालिसिस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द डिस्कोर्स द एक्सपीडिशन ऑफ एम्फ्री क्लिंकर इज एन एपिस्टोलेटरी नॉवल रिटन बाय टोबिया स्मॉलेट दैट वॉज फर्स्ट पब्लिश इन सेवनटीन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी वन इट इज अटेरिकल नॉवल डिजाइन टू पॉइंट आउट फ्लॉस इन इंग्लिश सोसाइटी ड्यूरिंग द सेवनटीन हंड्रेड्स द स्टोरी इज प्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लेटर्स written by six characters a welsh square named matthew bramble his sister tabitha their niece lydia and nephew jeremy malford tabitha's maid winifred jenkins and lydia's suitor wilson the novel exaggerates the mannerisms and motives of the characters in order to highlight the personal prejudices contradictory beliefs and discriminatory values held by people during the 18th century being an epistolary novel it is written mainly in the immediate past tense but the characters occasionally use the present and future tense in their letters characters of the expedition of humphrey clinker matthew bramble is a welsh square who openly claims to be a misanthrope however often proves proves to be a sympathetic charitable person he continuously tries to improve the lives of people around him matthew is suffering from gout rheumatism and hypochondria A hypochondriac is a person who obsesses about their health and often diagnoses themselves with illnesses based on their observations. Matthew is unmarried and his former name was Matthew Lloyd. During the journey, he continues to write letters to Dr. Lewis, his physician. Tabitha Bramble is the younger sister of Matthew. She is a forthright outspoken woman who is tired of being overlooked in favor of younger, prettier women. She is very attentive towards the business of Brambleton Hall as she feels that her estate's success can help her win a desirable husband. She she does so by writing letters to Mrs. William, the housekeeper at Brambleton Hall, while she is travelling. She is a foolish and cantankerous spinster who wishes to marry a high-class rich man. Jeremy Malford is Matthew and Tabitha's nephew, an intelligent young man. He is overprotective of his younger sister Lydia Malford. Jeremy writes letters to his friend Sir Watkin Phillips of Jesus College Oxford while Lydia writes letters to her friend Mrs Lesia Willis at Gloucester. John Thomas is a carriage driver and footman of the Bramble family. Humphrey Clinker is a poor stable man who joins the Bramble family on their journey. He impresses the Bramble family with his good nature and devotion to God. He is a naive but good-hearted man who values the importance of forgiveness. Winifred Jenkins is Tabitha's maid. She is a young beautiful girl who appears to be more intelligent than Tabitha and Lydia. She falls in love with Humphrey. Winifred too writes letters to other servants at Brambleton Hall. Lieutenant Obedia Lis Mahago is a proud, selfish, argumentative man who is not very rich but pretends to be. He his interactions with Matthew, Tabitha and Humphrey mellows him down and he improves his nature. Mr Dennison is a rich old man who has known Matthew for a long. Mr Dennison has a son George Dennison who became estranged from his parents after refusing a marriage they had arranged for him. He is a kind intelligent gentleman with a flair for poetry and acting. He temporarily discards his true name and takes up the last name of his friend Charles Wilson. Summary of the expedition of Humphrey Clinker. Matthew Bramble is a Welsh squire who is suffering from gout that causes great pain and stiffness his physician dr lewis advises him to travel to bristol which is known for its curative mineral waters his family members younger sister tabitha niece lydia malford and her elder brother jeremy malford accompany him tabitha decides to take her maid winifred along with them to help during the travel two days before their departure to bristol jeremy catches some letters written by a young poor man wilson which reveals that Lydia is in a love affair with him. Jeremy is against this relationship because Wilson is a poor man and he fears that Lydia won't lead a happy life with him. He questions Wilson about the letters who refuses to explain his relationship with Lydia. Angered, Jeremy calls Wilson for a duel with the pistol. When Matthew Bramble comes to know about this escalating argument, he intervenes and both Jeremy and Wilson get arrested. Matthew and Tabitha try to explain to Lydia that Wilson is a poor actor with no apparent family name and fortune and thus he is an unfit suitor for someone of Lydia's social status. 
Jeremy continues to fume and to calm him down. Lydia promises that she will not keep any contact with Wilson. The family travels to Bristol and Wilson follows them in the guise of a peddler. He tries to meet Lydia to explain to her that Wilson is his temporary name and in reality he belongs to a rich family. However, he fails to meet Lydia and encounters Winifred instead. He tells Winifred about his reality but Winifred gets, forgets his real name. Despite spending some time in Bristol, Matthew feels no improvement in his health. Rather, he feels that the damp environment of Bristol is worsening his situation. Thus, the family decides to move to Bath, which is a seaside city known for its sea by bathing resorts. Matthew hopes that the salt water may cure him. In Bath, Matthew meets many of his old friends including James Quinn, the famous actor. However, his health doesn't improve. He comes to know that the water in the city's bathhouses passes through an old graveyard. He further learns that the residual water from the bathhouses is transferred to the city inns and cafes where it is served to customers. Matthew is appalled by these revelations and decides to leave the city immediately. They decide to head to London. On their way, they meet an accident near Marlborough when their carrier overturns. Tabitha gets outraged and admonishes the carrier's driver. John Thomas gets offended and immediately leaves the job as he gets bitten by Tabitha's dog Chowder. They forced Matthew to hire a new footman. He hires a local peasant and stable man named Humphrey Clinker who becomes the carrier's driver. Humphrey is very poor, he doesn't even have a pair of pants. Matthew learns that Humphrey was born out of wedlock and currently lives in abject poverty. He buys Humphrey new clothes. Tabitha objects to such spending but Matthew decides to take Humphrey with him throughout their travel to London. Lydia and Jeremy are happy to live in the beautiful and busy city of London but Matthew finds little comfort. Matthew knows that Humphrey has no formal education but he is surprised when he learns that Humphrey gave sermons at the Methodist Church in London and got appointed there. This upsets Matthew because he supports the Church of England. Soon after, Humphrey gets arrested on suspicion of being a highway ruffian. The constable in charge of the case is certain that Humphrey is innocent even though another man identified him as the robber. The accuser thought he would receive a reward for naming a potential suspect. Jeremy tries to help Humphrey while a local man, Edward Martin, comes forward and argues for Humphrey. Humphrey is sent to jail for a day before his trial. Meanwhile, Matthew and Jeremy find out about the man who was robbed. This victim claims in the court that Humphrey is not the man who robbed him. This episode alerts Matthew about the robberies on the roads and he decides to promote Humphrey as the guard of the carrier. Since Matthew fails to find any cure in London, they decide to move to York. At Harrogate, some robbers attack the carriers of the Bramill family. Humphrey faces the robbers with bravery and he also gets help from Edward Martin who was travelling in the same direction. After that, Martin asks Matthew to help him find an honest job and Matthew agrees to help him. At York, the Bramill family meets their distant relatives and Tabitha comes in contact with a wealthy man, Mr. Micklewomen, and tries to woo him but learns that he is a charlatan who pretends to be suffering from physical infirmities to get special attention. She criticizes him and gets rid of him. Matthew decides to move to Scarborough and hopes that bathing in the sea will help him but he fails to get any cure at Scarborough too. However, the other family members enjoy their time at Scarborough. Matthew decides to take a bath in the sea and removes his clothes before going into the water. But he finds that the sea water is unusually cold and this startles him. Meanwhile, Humphrey, who was observing him, feels that Matthew is struggling and drowning. He jumps in the water and drags Matthew out of the sea by picking up his ears. Matthew gets embarrassed as he finds himself naked in front of a score of onlookers. The family soon leaves Scarborough and they decide to move to Scott Stockton where they meet Edward Martin again. Edward reminds Matthew of his promise to help him find an honest job. Matthew convinces him to find work in East Indies. They meet a retired soldier, Lieutenant Obedia Lismahago. Obedia tells various stories of his bravery. 
He appears to be an argumentative and proudish person. Tabitha is fascinated by his stories. Miss Mahago travels with the Bramil family. Jeremy appoints a new valet, Dutton. Both Dutton and Humphrey struggle to attract Winifred's attention. Dutton finds another woman and runs away with, him, with her, and Winifred gets interested in Humphrey. The Bramble family then moves to Scotland. Tabitha is interested in Lieutenant Obadiah, but she learns that he is not as wealthy as she would prefer. Nonetheless, she thinks that if she loses this chance, she may never get married. Meanwhile, Matthew feels that his health is improving and he determines that physical exercise has helped him get rid of his gout. The family then decides to return to Brambleton Hall. Lieutenant Tobedia proposes to Tabitha and she agrees. Matthew too supports their marriage. Matthew Bramble nearly drowns when the family's carriage overturns in a river. Humphrey saves him and takes him to a nearby home which turns out to be the house of Charles Dennison. Charles Dennison is one old-time friend of Matthew. Matthew learns that Mr. Dennison's only son ran away from home because he didn't wish to marry the girl the family chose for him. Through Matthew's conversation with Dennison, Humphrey learns that Matthew's original name was Matthew Lloyd. It comes out that Matthew is Humphrey's father and that Humphrey's real name is Matthew Lloyd Jr. Matthew accepts hum Humphrey as his son and Humphrey too forgives Matthew for leaving him and his mother alone. During the same time, Mr. Dennison's son returns to his home. Matthew and Lydia get startled when they see Wilson in front of them and then they learn that Wilson is his false name while his real name is George Dennison, the son of Mr. Charles Dennison. Everyone is happy after these revelations. Jeremy was happy for his sister who chose a wealthy handsome man as a life partner. Matthew and Mr. Dennison agree to the marriage of Lydia and George while Tabitha gets engaged to Lieutenant Obedia. Humphrey too proposes to Winifred and Matthew agrees to their marriage. Lydia and Wilson spend their honeymoon in Bath while the rest of the family returns to Brambleton Hall. So this is it for today. We will continue to discuss the history of English literature. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.